So I have a good mic, so now any video I make, you should be able to hear me clearly and I shouldn't get any comments to speak up. <laughs> so um, this video is just going to be installing Reshade uh, 3.0.6. Um, this is a lot more different than um, the previous releases, at least from what I've seen. So um, really where, where you start is just at the Reshade website download is going to take you to the bottom of the screen and you'll download 3.0.6 which was released January 1st 2017 and today is March 13th 2017 so at the time of this video 3.0.6 is released um, I don't know when other versions are going to come out but right now this is the one that we'll be working with so I already have that downloaded and I'm gonna run that uh, run reshade so the first thing you're going to do is select your game, which is going to take you, it should take you to your bin folder, but I think it's doing that because I've done it before, but if it doesn't, then you'll need to navigate to your bin folder, which is usually found in Program Files x86, Origin Games, The Sims 4, Game, Bin. So you're, um, and this is under the C drive, this could be different if you installed it elsewhere, um, but just navigate to that bin folder then you have or you should have two um, executables the 32-bit and the 64-bit I use the 64-bit on my computer but if you use 32-bit you'll choose that one so I'm gonna run TS4 X 64 it's gonna ask you to select your rendering API and you'll choose direct 3d 8 slash 9 then do you wish to download a collection of standard effects from the github and you'll choose yes you choose yes because um, this is going to install all of those effects so let's say you go and download a preset from that someone created and if they're using a um, effect that you haven't downloaded it won't look the same but if you don't plan to download anybody's presets and you know what kind of effects you want to use then it, you can actually save yourself some space and not download everything but I'm gonna go ahead and say yes And then here is where you'll choose the effects that you want to install and because I'm going to install everything I'll leave them all checked and press OK and now we're done so if you have some presets already installed um, on your or downloaded on your computer now we'll be we'll be moving them to the bin folder so I'm gonna open the file location and you'll see that there are a few files that have been added to your your bin folder so there's d3 d9 DLL you have a D3 D9 configuration file and you have the reshade shaders um, folder so this is where we're going to add all of our presets so just drag it in there so I've downloaded the picky Pikachu clean and bright preset so I'm gonna I put it in my bin folder and now I can launch my game Okay, so we're here coming into the game. Um, I don't, I don't think that I caught that at the beginning. Oh, here it is again. So, uh, what you're going to get is a banner, and it's going to tell you reshade and the version and um, creator, and then it's going to tell you how many effects uh, it's loading. So, um, the game could freeze in the beginning as it's loading all those effects in, but once it's complete, then, then you should have a, a um, responsive game. So, in the beginning here, you're not going to have anything, any preset set up. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to do Shift F2. So, Shift F2 is just going to open that um, the reshade guide while you're in game. So, you can what's good about this? You can change things around and you can see it in game. So, you don't have to. In previous versions, you would you know um, have to close your game and then edit a file and come back in um, sometimes you can edit the file while you are in game but this is uh, way easier so the first thing you're going to see is a tutorial we're going to go through continue at this point you can choose uh, a preset so since I've already put a preset in the bin folder I'll go ahead and select that clean and bright and then pay attention to the background here it's going to change so I loaded that preset and it loaded its effects. So now you can see a difference in my game. 
at this point you can choose the effect so let's say you want to create your own preset or you want to edit a pre-existing preset you'll do that here um, these are the different effects and at the bottom are the uh, variables for each each effect so like let's say we have uh, Luma sharpen we had that installed so that means that we could go down and find Luma sharpen within this this panel here Luma sharpen and then we can um, edit the variables here so sharp strength clamp and all of this so um, we'll click finish on that tutorial and then we can close that so right now we're running the clean and bright so let's say I'm gonna go back in and let's say I want to create my own preset so here you have some uh, buttons you have a plus and minus sign here if you click plus you can create a new one so I'll give it a name new preset enter uh -oh. enter so now it's gone back to the clean slate so if you want to use depth of field which is um, the blurry background kind of look you'll have to turn off edge smoothing in your game so when you turn off edge smoothing then you're gonna get um, really jagged um, edges and jagged lines so you'll for, for one want to turn on FXAA um, effect and then I like to use colorfulness I just go through the effects and find what I think looks good I, I mean I don't do it in any professional way or I don't know what all of the effects you know um, how they're used but if I um, if I toggle it on and I like the way it looks I'll keep it so for me I'll turn on colorfulness which will in, uh, give it a brighter look without it um, the game itself looks kind of dull so if I turn on colorfulness and then I want to increase increase the strength of this so let me find colorfulness at the bottom so I'm in this section here and I'll increase it and you can see in the back it's getting brighter decrease it it's um, desaturated increase again so let's say I'm just gonna increase all the way to the, to the top um, and then I'm gonna I can save that I'll go in game and show the depth of field but another thing to to know is that whatever you do to your game happen it changes the UI as well so let's go back in colorfulness I do the de de um, decrease it and look at my UI is changing along with the pictures in, or in the game the sims and all of that so for instance if I turned on CRT everything changes so one good thing that you could do is if you're only wanting to use these um, presets for your screenshots so you don't have to edit them later you can use this toggle key option so let's say I wanted to take a screenshot using advanced CRT but of course it's, it will be difficult for me to continue playing my game while this is running so if I had a toggle key which I'm gonna use as caps lock you press the key you want to be your toggle so I'm gonna hit caps lock and it's there now if I exit out of this and I have CRT on and then I hit caps lock it turns it off so if you have multiple presets that you only really want to use when you take screenshots you can also you can set them all to the same toggle key and it will turn them on and off for you so let's go in game and then I'll show depth of field okay so we're in game so I'm gonna just come around here now let's turn on depth of field we're gonna go shift F2 to open the um, menu now with depth of field you might want to play around with some of them because these especially the ones here in, in this section DOF are a little bit weird um, you'll turn them on but the way that they're set um, you'll want to play with the variables a little bit because they're just <laughs> it's just some of them are a little bit strange to me the way the way the blur is set so like I know uh, Marty McFly or is it magic there's one that's called magic 
that kind of works really really nice but the depth of field that I usually use that that works well would be um, the light depth of field so for me I'm going to choose light depth of field far so that means that anything that's sitting close to my camera is in focus and all that's behind it is blurred so let me close the menu and you see everything's blurred but what's in focus is this it's kind of in focus so if I zoomed in on this it's in focus everything behind it is blurred but it's what's in focus is everything this and what's near it so she's kind of in focus here but then you get some blur around her so you can of course toggle these things too if you go back to shift F2 and then we'll find light DOF here so we have let me see where we are so let you toggle for this one so you don't get individual ones so we're in light um, DOF so then you whatever you change here I, I, I I'm assuming we'll go for all of these so if we say the DOF amount is 10 right now so like if I increased it does it increase oh, so it lets you drag it no it doesn't some of them will let you drag them unless I'm doing something wrong but we're gonna okay so we erase this can we put 20 that's funny it won't let me change it so let's give that part <laughs> uh, but you should be able to change change these variables it's I don't understand why it's not allowing me to change it it's kind of weird um, that's weird actually let me look through like if like how we did with colorfulness see here you can drag well that's nice now this isn't working okay however in your environment <laughs> you should be able to drag these uh, left and right instead of having to type in a number um, so you should be able to excuse me you should be able to uh, do the same thing for your depth of field um, however I don't think I really need to change anything for mine because I I usually leave it the way it is anyway um, but if you want to you should be able to do that I'm not entirely sure why it's not allowing me to do it right now okay so now we're gonna go into uninstalling reshade um, you shouldn't have to repair your game I haven't had to do that as long as you remove the files from your from the bin folder you shouldn't have an issue so let me close out of this so we know by however we know that we have reshade on our our game so if I'm gonna close this out and then I'm gonna go to the bin folder here and wait for it to close okay so with our game closed these files um, that I mentioned um, in the beginning of the video the D3D9 DLL D3D9 configuration file um, and reshade shaders this D3D9 um, text document is created when you first run your game um, and then I it gets it looks like it gets written to at whatever time because I created at 745 and then it was last modified at 801 which is around the time that I closed my my game so to uninstall just remove those files so I'm gonna click on each one these are the only files I'm removing they're the only ones associated with reshade delete these so if I go and then you will delete your presets too if you want I'm, I'm gonna delete them anyway and then uh, you should be able to go back in game and you shouldn't see anything there if you do then um, it is suggested that you I haven't suggested but some that uh, create the presets suggest that you repair your game I haven't had to do that and I don't feel like you sh you should have to go through that process if you remove the files from your from your bin folder um, but 
I guess we all have different computers so you might have to repair but the first thing to do is just remove those files so let's let the game load up here and then uh, you'll you see too that there's nothing there's no bar saying that reshade is installed it's installing effects none of that reshade there's no effects it's just base uh, base effect that came with the game so it's completely uninstalled um, so if you have any questions you can leave a comment or um, um, reach reach me at tumblr I'm there a lot um, and I'll try to help you out remember I'm not an expert in reshade but if I can help you then I will so hope it was helpful